see we got Newcastle Central Station. Uh, just waiting for the train to get back to York. Uh, start of a long day, it's about 10 to 8 in the morning. No, that's when my train arrives, 10 to 8 in the morning. I think it's about uh, 20 past 7 at this stage. I believe you're too early for being home. Yeah, start of the day, ready for the visit of mighty Yorville Town. It's funny, the uh, the station here is full of Newcastle fans going down for the uh, the cup final. So hopefully the uh, the good spirit of that rubs off on us today. Here we go, City. So there we go, literally back in your off the train from Newcastle and what time we on? We're on 9 a.m. So six hours and counting till kickoff. Gonna go meet Tommy Boy in the car park. Let's get this fucking day cracking. City, come on. Stadium behind us. Uh, the journey from Newcastle was long, but I'm now here with Tommy Mays, the official football vlogger for the 322 channel. We're about to go into the LNER. Yeah. 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 It is very cold. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, we're going to be uh, taking three points off your boat today. Looks like we're gonna get a good crowd. There's a lot of people. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's about ready to go. It's busy, and uh, hopefully three points. We'll see you after the game. Yeah, guys. Hi guys, I'm Tommy Metz for the 322 channel. I want to talk to you today a bit about the uh, York Yogo game that I attended with Jay. Um, yeah, well, the great news is we won two one. You know, good, good result in the end. Massive, massive relief. Um, I'm just so happy. It's uh, it, it was a good, it was a good game. A bit nerve wracking at the end, but yeah, it's good. And as I did last, last time, I made a few notes. So I'm just gonna reel off some uh, bits and pieces that I uh, wrote down just to, uh, you know. Um, so yeah. Um, after about nine minutes, uh, shop took um, took out their keeper, and the keeper went down for a while. Um, you know. With shop as well, they you know they um, they were I think sure they were trying to wind him up or something because they, they were you know trying to get free kicks off him. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm well, going on from that. On 20 minutes, the player went down and and shop put his arms out wide and as if to say you know what, you know what, what was that all about you know and he didn't touch him. So yeah, you know anyway. <laughs> um, on 33 minutes, well, approximately 33 minutes. Ethan Moss made a save, he went down on the floor. It looked like we were in the south side and he was near the um, north side. So, um, but yeah, it looked like he got kicked in the head or something. So, Whitley had to replace him. Um, so, yeah, you know, I remember Whitley playing a couple of weeks back when um, he, he he got a pass, a back, a back pass and he picked it up and gave it away for a kick and put it away and they scored it. So, I was a bit nervous. You know, with him playing, but uh, he, in the second half, he did. He made the game really strong. Got some um, some crosses in that and corners. He, you know, he, he did really well. So that was good. Um, on about 40 minutes, uh, Manny Duku had to come off because he'd gone up for a header. Uh, I think clash of heads and that, and he got a bloody mouth and I think he you know cut his lip or something. But yeah, he, he from what Jay was saying, he he, he didn't want to come off, but. Um, you know, um, he did in the end, so uh, so yeah, you know, that actually brought Shaq on, so you know, uh, that was good. Um, yeah, into the second half, um, from 58 minutes, we give away a free kick, you know, um, another one, but on 62 minutes, Shaq was on a free kick, so it was nice we actually got a free kick. Um, 
but later on, one of our players clipped one of their players and we got a yellow card. And the, um, the there was three York players who got yellow cards, so they were Whittle, Fallowfield and Dyson. Um, the goals, well actually all three were scored by York players, because obviously uh, Cook scored a known goal for Yeovil after 60 minutes. But we'd gone, we'd gone in at half-time, one up with Ollie Dyson scoring uh, after 15, but obviously, obviously John Lewis um, scored in the 83rd minute to uh, get us the win. And that was, we remain in 18th place on the 18th place on the table with 36 points, and you're below the uh, you know the, in the fourth relegation spot, spot on there on 32 points. But Maidenhead on 39 in 14th is only three ahead of us, so you know quietly confident we're going to be okay um, but yeah it was a good performance from the last day um, yeah Yeovil for me in the first half Yeovil didn't really turn up but in the second half we let them we sat back a bit and they he got some ch ch shots in and they looked quite dangerous at one point but you know we soaked up the pressure you know um, and we just kept going with it you know QER came on last you know for the last uh, 16 minutes he came on after 74 um, so yeah, but yeah, it was a good day, uh, and let's talk some more to come. Thanks, guys.